Here's a situation I find myself in more often than I'd like to admit. Here I have a nicely skinned character, but I've just noticed that one of my bones is terribly out of place. Look at that. That's supposed to be a roll bone. It's nowhere near the arm, and you'll notice that the orientation isn't much better. Now Maya has a tool for this, and it's called the Move Skinned Joints tool. And I can use it to fairly easily move the joint back into place. However, when I activate the rotate tool, it zips us out of the tool and we can no longer move the joints around. So to get around this, I have my own custom shelf button. When I click it, I can move as well as orient the joint. Then I can take us out of move joints mode and it's like the mistake never happened. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I set this up. First thing I'm going to do is just set up a little skinned cube. So create a cube. Next, I'm going to go to the rigging menu set, then go to skeleton, create joints, and create a joint on either side of the cube. I'm going to select the end joint really quick and just unparent it for the time being. Then I'm going to select all three objects, then go to skin, bind skin, open the options, then I'm going to reset the settings so we're all on the same page and hit bind. This should give us some decent skinning results. Now I'm going to parent the child back to its parent and we should have a good little example to work from. Next I'll open the script editor and I'm just going to move things around so things are a little bit more visible. Double check to make sure that you're on a Python tab. That's really important. First, I'm just gonna import maya.cmds. And next, I wanna loop through all of the skin clusters in the scene and just put them into move joints mode. So I'm gonna use the ls command with the type flag and pass in skin clusters the argument to get all of the skin clusters. Then I'm gonna use the skin cluster command uh, passing in that skin that we're looping over and put it into edit mode and use the move joints mode flag set to true to enable that. Next I'm going to go to my custom shelf. Obviously you can put this on whatever shelf you want it to go onto. I'm going to select all the text and middle mouse button drag it up to the shelf. I'm going to right click on the button and choose edit. Then I'm going to go to the shelves tab and type in an icon label. I'm going to use MJM for move joints mode. Next, I'm going to input a tooltip. I'm just going to say enter move joints mode. Then in parentheses, I'm going to say double click to exit move joints mode. And we're going to set that up in just a second. I'm going to hit save to save that. And now let's test out our new button. I'm just going to rotate the joint a couple of times to make sure it is in fact skinned. Then hit the button and rotate it again, making sure that the mesh doesn't follow along this time. Now we need a way to disable it. I'm going to right click the shelf button and choose edit. Now let's copy our command and head over to the double click command tab. Make sure we're set to Python and paste. I'm going to set move joints mode to false this time to make sure that we are exiting move joints mode. Next, I'm going to head over to the pop-up menu items and add a new pop-up menu item. I'm going to call it enter move joints mode. This is going to be the same as we had before. It's just going to be on the right click menu. I'm going to paste in our command, making sure it's set to Python. Then I'm going to add a new item and call this one exit move joints mode. And I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure it's set to Python and paste in our code. Setting the true to false. And close that. So let's test the pop-up menu real quick. If we right click our button, we have a new exit move joints mode that we can press. And notice we exit move joints mode now. So now let's try enter. I click that and that doesn't seem to work. 
So I'm gonna single click it, make sure that still works. It does. And double click to make sure that works. And that does work. Let's fix that. I'm gonna right click and choose edit. Go to the pop-up menu items and notice that our script didn't apply. So I'm gonna paste that back in. It should still be on the clipboard. And we'll close this out. And let's go back to our pop-up menu and choose enter. And this time it works. Great. Hope that helps.